major medal for you at the World Championships. How does it really feel? Um, it feels great. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, I'm a competitor, so every race I go into, I want to win, as did everybody else on that start line. So when I crossed the line, I was like, oh, man. But um, when I saw my name flash up with the silver medal, I realized this is my first yeah, ever global medal. And in a national record, in a PB, it meant so much that I came to a global final and I gave it my best. So I'm really proud of myself. And did the race go the way you planned it? No, I wanted to win. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not joking at all. But um, no, no. <laughs> but um, in all honesty, I always focus on my own race. And I could have done little bits better, but um, Shelly Ann was sublime. And that's the kind of thing that we want to see in World Championships final. I mean, hopefully from me. But <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of thing that we want to see in, in World Championships final, athletes running their best, providing the whole world with inspirational stories. Obviously, she's had a child come back, I don't know how many titles, added another one to, to her closet. I've come away with a national record and a PB. It's the kind of performances that we want to see on the global stage. What could have been better for you today, tonight? Uh, could have got a little bit of a better start, better positions. But, you know, if I'm being honest, it's a World Champs final and... Um, it's just about making sure that you run the best race you can because some things when you're in that environment, particularly in the 100 meters, sometimes technique just goes out the window and you're just trying to cross the line first. Yeah, so, it's also yeah. huge for Bri uh, Great Britain, right? Yeah, it is. Thank you so much. In 35 or 36 years? I've got no idea. Sorry, I'm the worst statistician ever. But um, yeah, first medal in a medal, while. Yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> How do you plan to celebrate this medal? Oh, I don't. I've got the 200 meters tomorrow, so straight to bed. <laughs> Dina, you run one, I think you run one. 11 second race this year. I know, one. It's so just, annoying. Just one. I know, it's annoying. How confident was you coming into the competition? I felt good. I mean, obviously, I've always said that I want to come into the World Championships fit and fast. And um, that's all that you can kind of ever come into a World Championships with. You'd love to be, you want to just be in the best shape that you can because um, when you're out there, it's truly unpredictable. I mean, especially with the World Champs finals, people raise their game, people get nervous, and you just want to be able to be there on the line and be ready to give your best. So, yeah. With the whole nation's pressures looking on your shoulders, how did you keep your head in this? Um, turn off social media, turn off the TV, don't watch anything, um, simply because um, i got to focus on me and everybody will want to project their hopes, aspirations, fears onto you and you've got to make sure that you protect your energy and remain in your own little bubble because what they're saying might not exactly correlate with, with how you feel and how your, your, sorry, how your vibe's going at the, at the moment. So I always just tune out and protect my own energy. So how much does this mean to you and your coach John? It's a long-standing relationship, obviously. It, is. it means a lot. We've, we've, we've come a long way together. He's known me since I was um, eight years old. So it definitely means a lot. I'm yes, yet to see him in person. He was in the stadium just across the finish line, but um, I'm yet to see him in person. I'm sure he'll be super proud of me. Social media, what are you doing between the competitions? To be fair, no, no sports TV. I was watching Bake Off today watching Great British Bake Off, my favourite show, and I finally got a VPN because I'm not very techy and my friend told me which VPN to buy, so I got to watch Bake Off and I was very happy. How was it training with um, the, Hay, the Hay team, uh, Ruben? Oh, they're lovely. Yeah, yeah, I've got a fantastic team and I'm, I'm, I'm really, really grateful that they've all got me here in one piece. When you consider the 200 meters your main event, how does it motivate you ahead of 200? I wouldn't necessarily call it my main event because obviously I've entered both the one and the 200, so I aim to do my best in both. But um, yeah, I'm excited. But that reminds me, I'm probably going to have to go because I have to warm down and get ready for the two tomorrow. So thank you very much. Thank you.